Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to be making my caramel apple pound cake. So yeah, it's pretty easy. One, two step. <laughs> and yeah, let's get started. So I have my KitchenAid here. I'm using the whisk because I want to incorporate air into my batter. So I'm going to start with the eggs. Put them all down in there. And I'm going to start slow and get some air into these eggs. Okay, you see how nice and frothy my eggs are? That's what you're basically looking for. Now I'm going to add my sugar down in here. Remember, all printable copy recipes will be on my website and listed below in my description box. So you can definitely click on that to get full, complete measurements. So this is basically what you're looking for. I mixed it, the eggs with the sugar for about two minutes, like a minute or so, two minutes, just to get it nice and airy and you can see the color changed and everything. Now I'm going to add my oil in here. Close this back down, mix it for a little bit. Now I'm gonna start slowly adding in my milk. And as soon as that's incorporated, then we're going to add the vanilla. And then we're going to move on to the dry ingredients. I'm going to add my vanilla in. Just like such. Yep. Now that I have my mixture mixed in, I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients, which is my flour, baking powder, salt. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to do half at a time. So that's the first half. And then I'm gonna mix this up and add the other half and then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so I have some melted butter here in my cast iron skillet, well greased. I'm gonna pour my pound cake mixture down in here. You can definitely you know, bake your cake in a regular pan or whatever you have. That's fine. This is just the way I'm choosing to do mine. Then you're going to pop this cake into a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. Make sure you check it with a toothpick to make sure it comes out clean. And then, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're going to move on to the apples. This is what the pound cake looks like. Fresh out the oven. And now it's time to make her pretty. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start sauteing my apples with some butter. So you're just going to saute these for about 8 to 10 minutes to get them nice and soft. And then we're going to spice these up and then we're going to make the caramel sauce. These are what my apples look like 5 minutes in. So I'm just going to add some cinnamon. Not cinnamon overload, but just enough to coat the apples. You're going to stir this up and let it continue cooking another five minutes. And then we're going to work on the caramel. Alright, here I have some melted butter. Again, I'm going to add my brown sugar. And I'm going to stir this up. You could definitely use regular sugar. You'll just be cooking it out a lot longer. So I'm going to cook this out for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to move on. Okay, now I'm going to add my heavy cream and then stir this immediately to get it all incorporated. So after you keep stirring, this is what you're going to what you're going to end up with. Don't be scared if it looks crazy in the beginning. <laughs> Just keep stirring your liquid into the caramel until you end up with this. And then you're going to let it simmer for a minute or two until it becomes nice and syrupy. And then we're going to add all the apples back in. So I'm going to season up the caramel a little bit. I'm going to add some vanilla in here. And some salt. It's omittable. You don't have to add salt, but you know. And then I'm going to add the apples in. Except for maybe two or three. And you're just going to stir this up, get everything combined, and then cut it off. 
So I'm going to season up the caramel a little bit. I'm going to add some vanilla in here and some salt. It's omittable. You don't have to add salt, but you know. And then I'm going to add the apples in, except for maybe two or three. And you're just going to stir this up. Get everything combined. And then cut it off. This is what the caramel cake looks like. Um, all I did was put like a couple pieces of the apples on top and then I drizzled the caramel sauce all over this cake. It's like super decadent, super delicious. It's like so perfect. So <laughs> give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. The cake is super moist as you can see. I'm going to get a close up. Super moist cake. And yeah, so let me know what you think down below. And if you try this recipe, please feel free to tag me on all social media networks. And I'll see you guys next time. Again, the recipe will be below on my website. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time on my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.